This is Jeff Ritter here with a little tip to help you with your backswing. Today we're going to talk about backswing sequence from a left arm only perspective. Now as it relates to arm action, there's an element of hinging, swinging, and rotating in every backswing that you make. As we talk about hinging, all we're talking about is feeling some wrist hinge in an up and down fashion as if we were hammering the turf with our golf club. Swinging is having the arm swing back and through across your chest like a door opening and closing. And rotating is feeling some forearm rotation so that the club face opens and swings square to the arc. So what I want you to do, put the golf club in your left hand only, then take your right hand and grab the back of your left forearm. The left arm should be snug against your chest and you should feel a little bit of a cupping or an indentation to the inside of that left wrist. From here, what I want you to feel first is some hinging. So go ahead and feel like you're going to hammer the turf up and down a couple of times with that club. Now feel some swinging by taking your right arm and dragging the left arm across the chest, feeling the upper left arm and the left side of the chest staying snug together. Combine the two, hinging and swinging. From here, that club face should be looking down towards the golf ball. That means the club face is square. Now you're going to take that right hand and you're actually going to rotate the back of that left forearm to the right, opening the face, moving the shaft up the plane to the top. Back to the start. Hinging and swinging, followed by rotating. It's going to put that club shaft right on plane. Get the left arm on your shoulder plane as well. Club face nice and square. It's a great drill. It's real simple. I guarantee just a few minutes a day will be big help.